Okay, hello Virgos. How you doing? I hope everything's fine with you guys. Um, this is your reading. We're going to see what we can pull out of this reading and give you clarity on some things. Okay, like, share, hit the notification button to be noticed when I post the video, you guys. Sit back, enjoy the reading as well. New viewers, subscribe. Thank you for stopping by checking out my channel. I would love to have you, have you as a new subscriber, okay? So sit back, relax, and enjoy the reading. I hope you get the clarity you need. All right. Okay. Uh-oh. Where is my camera? Okay, there we go. Okay, Virgo's energy. Show us some Virgo's energy, please. Show us Virgo's energy, please, at this time. Show us Virgo's energy. Wow. Show us Virgo's energy. Okay, so this one's still on the table. Terrifying. Taurus energy here. Hmm. Awakening. Scorpio energy. Two of emotions. Water. Pisces. Scorpio. Cancer. The page of voices. Gemini. Seven of emotions. Water. Pisces. Scorpio. Cancer. Temperance. Sagittarius, Libra energy. <sighs> hey, Virgo. Something could have took place in a marriage. Where it has you in a deep spiritual, you know, thought. Like you're, you're trying to get some deep spiritual guidance. What to do in this situation. Um, it may have took a mental toll on you. You may be thinking about getting marriage counseling, mental counseling. But whatever it is, it's, a, it's taking you through a big transformation, but spiritually. Okay, where you're coming to the light. Maybe you were in a dark place in your marriage. And you're analyzing a lot of things at this time. But spiritually being guided through this moment that you're going through in your marriage this dark moment and you're coming to the light it's bringing you to the light the spiritual guidance that you're getting it's bringing you to the light you're realizing a lot of things seeing a lot of things maybe you didn't see that were going on in your marriage and this person you truly love this person this was your true soulmate but they did a lot of things you did some investigation this is this has you investigating opening your eyes to a lot of things that was going on where you were in the dark about you were in the dark about a lot of things and you getting the spiritual growth the spiritual guidance is bringing you to the light on some things you're seeing what you didn't see okay you're doing some investigating some research some spiritual getting spiritual insight and it's, you're not seeing anything good. You're, you're feeling deceived at this time. You're feeling like you were said illusions. You're feeling like you were lied to. You're getting a lot of insight. The dark insight. Nothing good. And um, Virgo's energy. Um, the muse of voices. Okay, so you're getting finding out a lot of truths. The king of swords, you know. You're finding out a lot of truth. The, your spiritual guidance that you're getting, the insight that the heavenly father, the higher power is giving you, yes, is like a lot, a lot of truth. Okay. That you did not see because you were in the dark. It was hidden from you. And you may have been let your heart blind you on a lot of things that was going on in your marriage. Your heart blinded it, you know. Because we don't want to see, you know, our partner doing things. You know, when we're in love with them, if we know that's our true soulmate, we don't want to see the negative. We just want to see the good in that person. 
Four of Emotions is here. This person you were dealing with, um, or this is you, somebody could be coming in with a peace offering or an offer, some type of offer. And it's going to sit on it, think about it, you know, continue to get some um, spiritual, you know, insight. Continue to investigate, okay, because you know, there's an offer coming in, okay, or this person is married. Maybe somebody coming in to you that's married. They're coming in with the offer, maybe. But you could still been went through some things. This could be something that resonates with you. Um, the full card. And they're wanting another chance. So maybe this is somebody you're married to. They're coming in with a peace offer. They're wanting another chance. Okay? They're wanting you to take another risk on them. Like I said, continue to get your spiritual growth, your spiritual guidance. Okay? Continue to investigate, research. Okay? They could be worried about you not accepting this offer. Virgo's energy. Virgo's energy. Seven of inspirations. At the same time. Yeah, this person, they could see you fending them off. Aries energy. They could see you fending them off. Or if you are, continue to do that until you see what you need to see, you know, because there's more to the eye. There's more you need to see, maybe, you know. So continue fending them off. Or this is what they want you to do. They want you to stop fending them off. Um, this person could be blocked from getting another chance from you, from what they've done, whatever they did. Six of Materials is here. Yeah. Because you need to gain your balance, all right? Um, you need balance. This this could have thrown you all off balance. You could be you could be the one, you know, you could be fending everybody off, not just this person. Because this situation has thrown you clear off balance, and you need to gain your balance back. You know, Virgo's energy. As you seen this person as your equal, your everything. You were so very comfortable. You felt safe with this person. You know, Whew, this threw you off balance. Um, your focus may be just ending the cycle and embarking on a new beginning, a new cycle. But this cycle, when you feeling off balance, it's going to end for you. And you are going to end up in a new cycle anyway. You're going to end up on a new beginning of growth. Okay. Whether it's with this person or not. Okay. Oh. Nine of material. Single. So you're going to end up in a new beginning of growth where you're going to be single. Okay. And you're going to work towards your stability. You're going to grow. Stability wise, you're going to allow people to see the beauty in you. You know, they're going to see how strong you are. They're going to see your glow, your strength, you know, your beauty. Okay. And you could be independent. You don't need nobody. You know, you're going to be free. You know, you're going to feel free. Five of materials. Yes, there may be a period of time where you feel lonely, where you may um, struggle, but you're going to get through all that. Okay. Yeah, you may have to struggle some stability here and there, but you're going to work hard and you're going to grow. Okay. Two of voices is here. Okay. You don't trust this person. Or you're going to have a lot, long, a, a hard time trusting anybody at this time, you know? So it may be a while before you be able to trust anybody again because of what you've been through. Because this person deceived you. They could have stole from you. And this caused you to have to go through a situation where you have to juggle stability. 
Or you're going to just feel like they stole from you. Um, two of voices is here. Um, you may be at a crossroads, you know, where you don't know um, which way to go concerning your stability. Um, but use your intuition, allow your intuition to show you a way out. Uh, show you show you the which way to go concerning um getting back on your feet concerning your stability okay heal give yourself time to heal as well rest um use your intuition like i said to help you find a way out of this situation you know into your healing and to grow in your stability five of emotions okay is here yes you're going to be sad you know, energy conflicted. But if you get the rest you need, allow yourself to heal. You'll come out of this space where you're disappointed, where you're energy conflicted. You know, there could be some shame, guilt, you know, because you don't have your partner anymore. You know, you may feel the blame of some of it. You may be taking the blame. But use your intuition. Allow yourself to heal to get through the situation. That's what came out. Muse of materials you're going to become stable again king of pentacles is here you're going to become successful you got an offer that's going to come into you that's going to put you back on that level of stability you're not going to need nobody you're going to be okay you're going to be okay this is you this is you're going to be all right you're going to be very stable successful strong people are going to see that your strengths people are going to see you being successful strong independent handling your finances everything Nine of voices, okay? And this is something you were worrying about, you know? Getting your stability off the ground. They had you up at night worrying, you know, whether or not you're going to be able to move forward by yourself. You're going to be okay. Okay? Don't worry. You're going to be stable again. Virgo's energy. You're going to be okay. Virgo's energy. Okay? Hangman, muse. Use this time that you're stagnant to help you figure out things concerning your stability. You know, what you're going to do. Use it, okay, to get some spiritual guidance on how to move ahead, how to get ahead in this situation, all right? All right. Continue to be strong. Love you guys. This is your reading. I'm out.